Okay, so welcome to part four of solving the Rubik's Cube. At this point, you should have one side completely solved, and you should also have the top two layers completely solved as well. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to solve the last side of the cube, this yellow side. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the yellow edge pieces of the cube. So we're going to form a cross on this yellow side. And before we get started, I want to talk about the different scenarios um, that you could start with whenever you perform this sequence, which I'm about to teach you. Um, you can start something that looks like I have already on this cube. You can start with just the center piece and no edge pieces in place. Okay? Um, and you can also start with an L. Okay? Say if you have you know, an edge piece right here that's yellow, and you have an edge piece right here that's yellow. Um, so you have this yellow pattern that kind of forms an L, okay? Or you can have two yellow edge pieces that are directly across from each other. You can have like a yellow edge piece right here and a yellow edge piece right here, and it forms like a straight line, okay? And the great news about all these different scenarios is that the sequence or the algorithm is exactly the same for all of them. So I'm going to teach you uh, this sequence and how to get uh, the all the edge pieces correctly into place for every different scenario. Okay? Um, and before I teach you the sequence, I want to teach you some terminology. If I move this right side clockwise, I'm just going to say right. So right now I'm moving right. Okay? If I move this right side counterclockwise, I'm going to say right inverted. Okay? So right now I'm moving the piece right inverted. Okay? Um, so that's just some quick terminology before I can teach you the sequence. All right? So at this point, we just have the center piece and we have no yellow edge pieces in place. So you can position the cube any way you want. And you want to use this sequence of moves, which I'm about to teach you. You want to move the front side. Then you want to move the right side. Top. Then you want to move the right side inverted. Top inverted. Front inverted. Okay? front, right, top, right, top, front, okay? Um, so at this point, notice how we have a L, okay? So once you have the L, okay, you want to you want to point one of the, <clears throat> the parts of the L away from you, and you want to point one of the parts of the L to the left, okay? And once again, you want to perform the same sequence that I taught you or that we used just two seconds ago. All right, you want to move the front side, right side, top, right, top, front. Okay. Um, so at this point, we have a straight line. Okay. And whenever you have a straight line, you always want to make sure that it is horizontal when you start the sequence of moves. You, you don't want to start it like this. So notice right now it's vertical. Always make sure that the line is horizontal uh, when you start the sequence. And once again, it's the same exact sequence which we used before. All right, we're going to move front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. Okay. Um, we just got really lucky, and we got all four yellow corner pieces that are correctly in place. That usually does not happen, so don't really pay attention to that. Um, right now, you should always have all of the edge pieces correctly in uh, or on the top side of the cube. But just because we have all the yellow edge pieces on the top side of the cube, it doesn't mean they're in their correct position. Okay, let's take a look. Notice how this edge piece, the blue, is not matched with the blue center. Okay, so this edge piece is in the wrong position. Okay, Th this edge piece is in the correct because the green is matched with the green center. Now, this edge piece is in the wrong position. Um, this edge piece, this orange, is not matched with the orange center. Um, so, our next sequence of moves is we want to match the, uh, the yellow edge pieces. We want to put them in the correct position so that all the colors match the centers. Okay, so I got rid of some of the yellow corner pieces, um, just so we could focus more on the edge pieces, which we're working on right now. And we need to correctly position all these yellow edge pieces. 
And there's going to be three different scenarios uh, when we correctly position these, these edge pieces. And the first scenario is like I have right now is when you have one edge piece correctly positioned. Notice how the green is matching the green center. So that one's in the correct position, but that's the only one. Um, none of the others, the red's not matching the red center, the orange isn't matching the orange center, and the blue's not matching the blue center. So we only have one edge piece that is correctly positioned. And that's actually a good thing. This is what we want to start our next sequence of moves, which I'm about to teach you. All right, um, so there's one more, or sorry, two more scenarios, which I want to go over. Um, this is when there's two edge pieces that are correctly positioned. I'm going to look something like this, actually. All right, notice how we have two edge pieces positioned now uh, in the correct position. We have the orange matched with the orange center, and we also have the blue matched with the blue center, um, and the other two edge pieces are, are not correctly positioned. Okay, like I said before, we want to make it before we start this move so that one edge piece is correctly positioned, and in this case, it's really easy because it forms an L. Whenever it forms an L, you just got to rotate the top side one time. Sorry, the wrong way. One time, so that now we have the green is matching the green center, and none of the uh, other edge pieces are correctly positioned, and then we can start our sequence of moves, which I'm about to teach you. And the way you want to position the cube is you want to position it so the one that's matching... Um, the right center, When notice how this is the only one matching its centerpiece, you want to keep it so that's directly in front of you. Okay, and once you position the cube that way, you want to do this sequence right here. You want to go right, up, right, up, right, up, up, right. Okay, I know it's a long sequence to, to memorize, um, but the only the only sides that you're moving are the right side and the upside, so it's right up right up right up up right. All right, and what we actually did was we kept this green edge piece, okay, in the correct uh, in the in the same position, and we actually rotated the three other ones like a clock. All right, um, so notice how they're still not in the correct position. Oh, so what we need to do is we need to rotate these three pieces one more. We're going to move this blue over here, we're going to move the red over here, and we're going to move the orange uh, edge piece over here. Okay, so we need to do the same sequence one more time. And I, I apologize, last time I didn't use the word inverted, I'll use that one this time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right, up, right inverted, up, right up, up, right inverted. Okay, um, so now what we did is we rotated uh, these three edge pieces. Now they're in the correct position. Uh, notice how the orange is matching the orange center, the blue is matching the blue center, and the red is matching the red center. And we have the officially created our cross, and we still have our, our other side of the cube completely solved. We still have our two layers. And they're all all the cross pieces are in their correct position. All right. Um, so let me just go over that one case which I mentioned before, uh, when when you have one in the right position right here, and you have one directly across from it, and the other two are in not in the right position. Okay. So here we have the scenario where we still have our yellow cross, but only two of them are in the correct position, and they're on opposite sides of each other. Um, the green's matching the green center, and the blue is matching the blue center, and the other two yellow edge pieces are not matching. Okay, um, so what you want to do is you want to you want to make it so that the two edge pieces uh, that are matching, that one of them doesn't matter which one is directly in front of you, and we still got to use the same sequence which I just taught you earlier. You want to go right, up, right inverted up, right, up, up, right inverted. Okay, um, so now notice how we still have our green matching the green center, and we also have an orange matching the orange center, and the two that are matching form this L. Okay, so the only thing that we have to do is just rotate it one way. I think we need to rotate it this way. 
And now notice how we only have one edge piece that's matching. Okay, the red's matching the red center, but none of the other yellow edges, the, the colors match. Okay, um, so now we have one matching its center. Now, once again, we can now it's like starting from the beginning. What we got to do, same sequence, which I already taught you. We go right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Okay, um, so now let's see. We still they're still not matching yet, so that means we got to do it one more time. So let's do right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, up, right inverted. Okay, and voila! Notice how all of the edge pieces are matching the center piece. The blue's matching the blue center. Orange is or the red's matching the red center, and so forth. Um, so at this point. We should have you should have the cross completely solved and in the correct positions. It's just by dumb luck that the four yellow corner pieces are also on the top, uh, but they're not in the correct position as you notice. Um, so in my next video, I will teach you how to put the yellow corner pieces into their correct position, and we will have the cube completely solved.